Hi everyone, today I will show you how I built this mini CNC plotter based on Arduino. First, I designed the parts in Fusion 360 and I 3D printed them using my Creality Tender 3. After checking if the parts fit together properly, I started assembling the machine. First, I put some super glue on the Y axis motor shaft. I pressed the gear on it and I screwed the motor in place. Then I fixed the Y axis sliding piece and the X axis rail together using some super glue. I slid the X axis sliding piece into the X axis rail. and I screwed the motor in place. I fixed the bearing to the holder and I glued it to the x-axis to avoid that it remains overhanging and breaking. Then I cut some pieces of plywood and I screwed everything together. I placed the Arduino NAN expansion board and the motor drivers on the base of the machine and I fixed them with some screws. I connected all the wires together following the circuit diagram that I linked in the description of this video, as well as my 3D printer and all the components that I used to build this machine. After putting the Arduino NAN in place, I screwed the Z-axis motor and I put a spacer under the base of the CNC. I connected the Z-axis motor wire and I pressed the pen holder on the motor shaft. Now the mini printer is done. It all works really well and it is quite stiff. Before starting with the software part, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like. To make this CNC work properly, first we need to install the firmware. So I went to Google, I searched Gerpel 28BYJ48 and I opened this GitHub link. I downloaded the files and then I extracted them on my desktop. Then I right clicked on the Arduino ID icon, I clicked on Property and then on Open File Location. I went into the Libraries folder and then I copied the global file into it. After connecting the machine to my laptop and to the power supply, I opened the Arduino ID. I went to File, Examples. I opened the global upload example and I uploaded it onto my Arduino. Then I went back to Google and I searched Universal G-Code Sender. I clicked on the first link and I downloaded the platform beta version of the program.
and once the download was finished, I opened it. If you can't open the program, it is probably because you don't have Java installed on your PC, because uh, Universal G-Code Sender is a Java-based program. Then I connected the CNC to the program, pressing on Machine, Setup Wizard and Connect. And then I did all the calibration and the setup. I came back to Google, I searched for Inkscape and I downloaded the latest version of that software. I opened it and I changed the sheet size to match the size of the print area. Then I inserted an image from the web I vectorized it and I saved it as an SVG. I came back to Google, I searched for JSCAT and I opened the online CAM. I opened my settings that I linked in the description and I imported the SVG image. I clicked on create operation and then on generate. After a few minutes the decode was ready, so I saved it. and I opened the file in Universal G-Code Sender. And then I started the print. I printed some other images to see if it all works properly and I'm very happy as to how they came out, especially because this was the first CNC machine that I had built.
you enjoyed this video obviously leave a like and if you don't want to miss any upcoming video subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell